Shot 168. Yeah. This is me every time I get in my car and drive at night. <laughs> Why is driving at night like such a different thing? Like, why am I so, like, dramatic at night in my car? I'm like, yeah. It's just me and my life. Yeah. <laughs> and how come it, no matter what, what, I think there's somebody in my back seat. There's always somebody in the trunk of my car every single time I get in my car. I don't even care. But they're never in there, like, from, like, 8 a.m. to... 6 p.m. Like, you know how, you know, there's like scary scenes in movies where somebody like pops out in your trunk and you see them in your rear view mirror and you're like, ah! Dude, if they did that in my car at like 3 p.m., I'd be like, what are you doing, bro? Hey, you want to go get coffee? <laughs> I wouldn't even, they're trying to kill me. I'm like, hey, dude, Starbucks doesn't have food right now, so we can only get coffee. I know. Dude, why doesn't Starbucks have food right there now? Is that only in Indiana? Holy shit, is that only downtown? Dude, every Starbucks in downtown Indianapolis has zero food. All they have is like avocado spread. That's it. They don't even have bananas. They don't even have like the shitty uh uh cannolis, what are those called? Damn, I should so know. The things you dip in coffee. Italian things you dip in coffee. Biscotti. I know, I know, I'm like the least Italian guy ever. I'm the least Italian guy that's Italian. Everybody's like, you don't know, you don't know Italian? I'm like, I don't know one word in Italian. You don't even know your own language. <laughs> I'm like, no. I don't know one word. And people, when people try to teach me a language, I'm like, bro, no, don't even try. <laughs> That's my worst. Like, I'm not good at accents. Like when when somebody's like, speak Italian, you know, just say something like that sounds Italian. I'm like, I have no clue, bro. Penne, <laughs> spaghetti. I'm the least Italian Italian guy of all time. Italian people always like don't say the end of each word. They like don't they like leave off the last three letters of every word. They're like, hey, come on, bull. <laughs> come with me, man. Let's get in the car. <laughs> you gonna get a nice little appetizer? <laughs> <laughs> every fucking word. <laughs> they don't even say their last names, right? What's your name? Benedict Police. <laughs> I, I low key, I kind of think the Italian language is like kind of sounds ugly. Ah! He said it. It sounds weird, and I think that's only because like sometimes my dad would like, oh fuck, like when my grandparents would speak Italian, I'd be like, yeah, but I don't know what the fuck that means. But sometimes my dad would say it, like we'd be just at his house, and like he'd be, he'd be like, I'd say something, he'd be like, Ben, you just gotta mutabata dudu. And I'd be like, what the fuck did you just say? And he'd be like, you never heard that? I fucking hate that. That's what, it's, that's what people who fucking know anything else in another language, they say it to you and you're like, what? And they're like, you never heard that? It's like, when the fuck would I ever have heard that? My dad was like, mutabat the bull I hate when my dad fucking speaks Italian. It's so ugly. It just sounds like he got punched in the face 47 times. <laughs> I'm like, ew, bro. I'm like, what's it mean? He's like, you got to try your best. I'm like, holy fucking shit. I think the Italian language is gross because my dad like made it. He just fucked me up about it. Every time he speaks Italian, I'm like, ah! My dad, dude, I've said this before, but he doesn't even say Italy. He's like, Italy. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> This is just how the Italians say it. My dad will say that after, and I'm like, that, that, okay, well, they're wrong too. <laughs> Italy. Ah! <laughs> Dude. 
Not about the ball, though. He, like, drags it out so long because he, like, thinks he's so cool speaking Italian. And I'm, like, throwing up. I'm like, ah! He's like, make, he's like, it means try your best. I'm like, well, that's going to make me not try at all. Sounds like you just told me to try my best with, like, a mouthful of of a everything bagel. He's like, <laughs> oh shit. What's up? Espresso podcast shot 168. I'm your host, Ben Polizzi. Remember to follow, remember to subscribe, review, rate it, and do all that on Apple Pods and Spotify. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know if you can on Spotify. But yeah, rate, review, subscribe. Get the homies listening. It seems like more and more people are listening, man, and that is such a dope-ass feeling. Yes! I love it, man, for real. So thank you for listening. And remember to follow on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Cameo, all that Benedict Polizzi. Went and saw a movie. I saw Black Widow. Dude. My sister put me on Marvel movies. Anyway, so we went to this movie. It was in the theater where you can, like, drink and eat, and that shit is fire. Okay, the movie was, like, it was, like, at the climax at the end, and the fucking theater turned on all the lights like we were leaving. (laughs) You know how awkward that is? You know when they turn on the lights at a bar when you're, like, it's, like, 3 a.m., and you're like, oh, what? what? That's how it was in the movie theater. Everybody was all ugly and shit. Like, everybody was so comfortable. It was so gross, bro. Because that movie theater, like, has those seats that you can, like, turn into a bed. (laughs) And everybody's, like, kind of, like, you know, there's just, like, plates of food and shit. Oh, and they've turned all the lights on. Super bright, dude. Like, they turned the lights on to, like, the point that, like, they would turn them on when people would, like, clean the theater so they could see everything. It was so bright, and people were, like, so, like, like, mm, movies. Like, you know... (laughs) You know when you watch a movie in, like, your living room and you get, like, so comfortable? You get, like, ready for it? (laughs) You get, like, you, like, change into movie clothes and you, like, cuddle up, like, your favorite spot on the couch, like, with your blanket and shit and your pillows. And you're like, okay, are we ready? Let's do it. Like, you have your drinks and shit. That's how everybody was. Just full blast lights on. Imagine doing that shit in your living room, but there's 50 other people, like, like, around you doing that, too. It was so awkward. So they ruined, like, the last fucking eight minutes of the movie. I've been doing this thing where, like, I love complaining about shit. And the first thing, when all the lights turned on in our in the movie theater at the end of the movie, the first thing I thought wasn't like, oh, man, oh, poor guys up there, probably somebody's first day. The first thing I thought of was like, maybe we can get free tickets to another one. And I was like, stop, 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 brain, stop. Maybe maybe we can get money for this one. <laughs> stop, just don't think like that. That's always the battle in my head. But, like, I didn't. I just, whatever. All right, let's get into this question. The espresso quick, 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 quick question of the week. Week, week. This week, the espresso question was... What's something annoying that your friend, girlfriend, boyfriend, or family member does that's super annoying, but you like them so much that you just don't have the heart to tell them? You know what I mean? You're just like, fuck, that's just his thing. That's just what he does. He just fucking uh, puts his pinky in his ear, scrapes his earwax out, and eats it and doesn't think we can see it. (laughs) That's just his thing. Fuck, I don't want to tell him that. Like, you know you like somebody so much you just don't want to tell them because you don't want to, like, get in that type of, like, vibe with them. You know, you're, like, having a good day and shit. Like, this happened to me and my dad countless times. It's always me and my dad, like, in a car. I've probably spent 15 years with my dad total time in the car. And, like, everything will be going good. We'll have, have, it's like a fun conversation, good shit going on. We have coffee. But then, like, all of a sudden I'll be like, I got to tell him. My brain's like, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. And then my brain again is like, <laughs> say it. Tell him you have to ruin the moment. You have to ruin this. Tell him. And, and then the other side of my brain's like, don't do it, man. Don't do it. Keep the energy good. And then the inside of me is like, but if you don't tell him, then you're a piece of shit. Then you're a piece of shit. My brain's like, don't do it. Don't do it. And then instantly I'm like, 
hey, Dad, you got hair on the bridge of your nose. You ever, like, seen that in the mirror? And he'll be like, what? And I'll be like, fuck. He'll be like, Ben, just look out the window then. And I'll be like, fuck. And then in my brain, it's like, told you. And the other guy's like, mm. right, let's go through some of these. Here we go. What's something super annoying your loved one does, but you just don't have the heart to tell them? My two best friends are brothers, and they always imitate their dog in the weirdest voice. I cringe every single time, but I can't say anything because they obviously think it's funny. So why would I? my opinion matter? <sighs> Dude, that is something people do not hold back on, talking to their pets like that. Like, they'll do that in front of fucking... LeBron James. They don't give a fuck, dude. People that have pets and talk to them, they don't care who's around. They, like, love doing that shit. I always think they're kidding. I'm like, ah, that'd be crazy if he actually... Oh, shit, he's still going. <laughs> True, though, bro. They don't give a shit what you say. If you say that to somebody with a dog, they'll turn around and fucking slit your throat. Hey, man, you talk to your dog like a pussy. <laughs> Here we go. What's something your loved one did that's super annoying, but you just don't have the heart to tell them? Relatives. Are you busy? To be followed by asking you to help them move furniture or some shit. Dude, helping somebody move. That needs to be like a regulated business transaction. When somebody's like, yo, will you help me move? I'm like... Keep it coming. Like, I'm not saying yes till you lay out the whole fucking day. Because damn, bro. Like, when's the last time you helped somebody move? Because it always starts at, like, fucking 10 a.m. at the latest. For sure. And then it always goes until, like, 4. And there's always some shit that you, like, forget to do. They're like, oh, fuck the truck. The, I mean, he said he was going to pick it up and bring it over. And now we got to get a new guy. And they're, then they're like, oh, my God, we got the truck without the dolly. And you're like, holy fucking shit. I, I like, this is not my thing. Like, for some reason, I always think the guy who asked me to help move, like, knows how to do it all. I'm like, all right, he's got it. I just got to, like, be there and, like, help him lift some shit. I can do this. But then when I get there, he's like, all right, so what do you think? We fucking turn it this way, flip it upside down, fucking light it on fire, and then shit all over it, and then we can slide it out? I'm like, um... <laughs> right when somebody brings up, hey, dude, do you think we should take the doors off? Every time, every moving and say, yo, do you think we should take the door? It's always, hey, do you think we should unscrew the fucking legs on the couch? I'm like, oh, fuck. This is going to be a long day. Right when somebody says legs on the couch or hinges on the door, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. This is the. <sighs> Helping somebody move. And they're always like, yeah, man. Oh, you throw you some money. And they always, it's always pizza. They're like, what kind of pizza you want? Acting like that, that's like, like you've never had pizza before. Like it's the sacred fucking repayment for moving. Pizza? They're like, they wink and it's like, ding. You're like, dude, I've had, I had pizza last night. Fuck off. But yeah, I'll take Little Caesars. <laughs> Dude, I love Little Caesars, but I always, like, don't get it because there's always somebody around me that's like, Ew, what the fuck? <laughs> Just a simple-ass cheese pizza from Little Caesars. Uh. All right, here we go. Something that your loved one does that annoys the shit out of you, but you don't have the heart to tell them. One of my best friends doesn't wear deodorant, and he smells really bad. I've come very close to telling him, but we haven't had the balls to do it yet. You got to tell him, man. You got to tell him. Be the friend. He'll like you more if you tell him. That's one of those things. Dude, my honest friends, oh, fuck, they're so honest. One of my friends was like, yo, bro, I watched one of your videos on Instagram the other day. It was the the bop it one or the, the skip it one. They're like, you've aged a lot since then. I was like, oh, fuck, that's. Such fucking bad news, but I love you. Thank you. People that aren't afraid to be honest, I'm like, come here. Come here. Oh, it feels so good to hear this, to hear some bullshit about yourself. Because you're like, how else would I have known? 
But yeah, you got to tell him. You just got to be like, dog, like, why do you smell so bad? Well, my cousin did that to me one time. I smelled like shit at my cousin's house when I was younger. I didn't know. You know, you like can't smell your own breath. That's got to be the biggest downfall of like the human body. You can't smell that. Like when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, okay, my breath smells. I can like taste it, which is ah. But like even after I brush my teeth in the morning, I'm like, eh, it's still pretty fucking bad. Now it just tastes like shit and fucking Colgate. Ah. But like you can't really smell your own BO because you're like a- around it all the time. Like when you smell yourself, it's like, it's like. 10 hours too late. Tell them to get certain dry. Certain dry, bro, that shit that you put on your armpits. Anybody anybody have that? Dude, I sweat so bad and I, I know everybody in high school. Like like low key, you're like freshman year in high school, you start to your pits start to sweat. Dude, the first time I fucking saw a picture of myself with pit sweat, I was like, "Ah!" I was like, somebody take me out back. I don't deserve to live. Dude, the pictures with the pit stains, there there's no worse like thing, man. If like if if you're like, hey, uh, this is my friend Bobby. I'm like, they're like, you should meet him. He's he's cool. You guys would be friends. And the first picture they show me is him with a fucking pit stain. I'm like, Bobby's gross. <laughs> I don't know how people can look past some shit like that, dude. I feel so bad when people have pit stains. So I had them all the time, all the time, and it was disgusting. Like, you know when you know you have pit stains, you don't raise your arms for like four hours. You're like, <laughs> they're like, hey, Ben, can you reach up and get that cup? I'm like, uh, I'm not thirsty. They're like, yeah, I know, it's for me. I'm like, I got to go. <laughs> I just got to call. I got to help my friend move. <laughs> That's the worst. Oh. Uh, but I got this thing called Certain Dry. My friend was like, yo, bro, try this. Certain Dry. You, like, put it on your armpits and then, like, you don't sweat anymore. I was like, yeah, right? That doesn't fucking work. But, like, that night I was at Walgreens and I was like, boop. <laughs> Drove home. It was, like, roll-on, like, you know how you have, like, the liquid deodorant? It was like that. It was like a roll-on ball. Put it on your armpits. And, like, dude, they're like, roll it twice. Bang, bang. That's it. Because this stuff is, like, strong. I was like, that's, like, basically what the direction said. And I did it. Bang, bang. And I was like, I don't think it came out enough. Bang, bang. And I was like, I don't think it came out that time either. Bang, 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 bang. And I was like, okay, I feel satisfied. Did that to my other armpit. And then my, dude, my armpits were on fire all night, dude. It felt like there are 1,600 fire ants on my armpits. I, I don't think I slept that night. Dude, it was, it was like somebody fucking, you know you get like a bikini wax? Well, like, I don't, <clears throat> but you know those things? <clears throat> like when somebody, <clears throat> and you're like, ah! That sound, it felt like that for seven hours. Itchy. On fire pits, bro. And then uh, the next day, the next day it was like still kind of like that. But then, dude, after that moment, freshman year. My armpits never sweat again. I swear. Never. If you have pit sweat problems, put certain dry on that. That shit works better than any product I've ever had in my life. Certain dry. It probably like caused some like, it has like a counter effect though. Like your, your armpits don't sweat, but like my fucking feet like just stink like shit. My PE teacher always used to be like, don't put the other one on your feet. (laughs) <laughs> and we were all like, why? Because Loki in the back of my head, I was like, that's a good idea. <laughs> She's like, don't put deodorant on your feet. Because she, like, one of her friends put deodorant on her feet and had to go to the hospital, like, almost died because it, like, fucked everything up. Like, in her, like, in a like, sweat gland system in your body, it, like, fucked it all up. But ever since she said that, I was like, I, she was on to something. All right, a couple more. Here we go. What's something your loved one does that's super annoying, but you don't have the heart to tell them? When my partner moves my vents in my car, instead of just adjusting the temperature and fan, it irritates me to no end. Yeah, that is like a personal attack. Dude, when somebody pulls that in your car and just fucking (laughs) closes your vents, you're like, oh my god. You could have said something. 
It's like the biggest fuck you. <laughs> it's the biggest fuck you ever. <laughs> Just shutting the shit out of him like shutters on a house. <laughs> You're like, oh, okay. She must be uh, too hot. I'm really sorry. What's something your loved one does that's super annoying, but you don't have the heart to tell them? Swallow their drinks too loud. <laughs> that's my fucking worst nightmare. It's always everybody's first drink. My sister's the worst, dude. She'll have a big glass of water, and I'll be like, not thinking anything of it, because like I I don't know that her fucking throat isn't like warmed up yet. Ah! And she'll go to drink it, and her first gulp will be like. Like this. Just the first gulp. She's like, yeah, I'm going to get a drink real quick. I'm like, cool, yeah, uh, glasses are right there. Um, yeah, she's like, I just want some water. I'm like, cool. Pours it. I'm still just like sitting there. Then all of a sudden... Shit, that's exactly what it is. I'm like, oh! Can you turn the volume down? Can I shut the vents on your throat noise? <laughs> and I'm thirsty real quick. Middle of the night. <laughs> Wake up the whole fucking neighborhood. It's always something in a fucking glass of water. Big glass of water, cold drink. Everything's perfect. Oh, man, I'm so thirsty. And then she's like, mm, that was good. I'm like, <laughs> I break all the glasses in the house. <laughs> Turn off the water valve. I'm like, no. That's it. That's it for the fucking drinking sound effects. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. It's always after I drink milk, too, bro. My throat makes the weirdest noises, especially on this podcast. It's always some shit like that. After I drink like a glass of milk, I'm like, then I'll put my cup down. Somebody will be like, Ben, what do you have going on today? And I'll be like, well, just a little I just got to go to the uh, store. <laughs> you ever try to fucking power through that? You're like, well, just let me go through the store. And everybody heard it, but they're like, did he just fucking turn into an alien? Dude, I love... Dude, the people that just let that one go are fucking saints. But the people that call you out for it... What the fuck's in your throat? Love you even more. <laughs> Holy shit. What do you have going on today, Ben? I'm like, I was just gonna put something up from the start. Mm. You guys didn't hear that, right? Thanks. You guys didn't hear me sound like a fucking extraterrestrial, right? All right. Thanks. Little... What do you have going on today, Ben? Well, just going to take over the fucking world. <clears throat> I just got to go to the store. What's up? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. All right, let's do a vibe of that. Hold up. Before we go viral, I just want to say uh, the Espresso Podcast is brought to you by Wave One Media. <laughs> if you want to start your own show, visit thewave1.com. All right, let's go viral. Five, 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 viral. Er, 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 er. Uh, uh. Viral. Hashtags of the week. Hashtag. Hashtag tips for rainy days. Oh, man. I fucking love when it rains, dude. I'm always like, oh, yeah, it'd be so awesome to watch a movie today. I've never fucking ever watched a movie when it rains, but I always think about it. I'm like, damn, that'd be awesome. Never have I watched a movie. I kind of hate it when it rains, and then all of a sudden it gets sunny again. I'm like, wait, wait, wait hey, I was just, I just wanted to be a bitch for the whole day, all right? And then all of a sudden you're going to make me, like, do some shit? Like, when stuff gets rained out, I'm like, thank God, man. It could be a concert that I've been waiting to go to my whole life. If it's torrential downpour that night, I'm like, yes! The worst weather of all time, though, is when it gets sunny after it rains. I'm like, fuck. 
It's like it's like stick. It's like it's hot out, but the ground's still wet. The grass is wet. I'm like, oh. I'm like. <laughs> Let's do days. Wednesday. National Junk Food Day. <sighs> junk food, bro. Reminds me of that scene in Shazam. You remember that? That movie Shazam? Wait a minute. Is it called Shazam? There's like two Shazams. I swear. Or or like I'm uh, I'm tripping right now. But there, I swear there's a, a movie called Shazam and it's with Shaq. But we used to watch that, like, on repeat when we were kids. We used, we had a rotation of, like, one movie when I was a kid. Yeah. Kazam. Fuck, I'm so stupid. Shaq is the most popular person of all time, I swear to God. But, uh... We watched, like, four movies when I was growing up. It was, like, Kazam, Georgia the Jungle, uh... A League of Their Own, and Happy Gilmore. That's, like, it. So I've seen those four movies, and then they're like Rocky. Those are like what it is, bro. I swear to God. But there's a scene in Kazam where like this kid wishes for, like Shaq's like a genie or something, and this kid wishes for junk food, and it all falls from the sky, and it's like disgusting junk food. It's like burgers and like candy bars. It's like, it's like piling up. He wished for so much. It's like, it makes me feel so fat. But low-key junk food, though. Junk food hits so different. During that car, like if you if you're going on a car ride, like a like on the way back from something, going to your house, and you go to a gas station, get like a bag of trail mix, and you're like listening to that song, this song. <laughs> it's always that weird voice. Why is this so cool though? Like, what are they? What on earth is this bitch saying? Right here. If you're in the car on the way back, going home, no worries in the world, eating trail mix, and that song's on, bro. I'm in the best mood of all time. That's it. Yeah. Oh, dude, Pop-Tarts lately have been fucking me up. I know I say that probably every podcast, but, like, that's my junk food right now. Blueberry Pop-Tarts. What is it? I always default to those. I, I went in the gas station. We were on the way home from our show in Michigan, and I was like, oh, bro, I'm about to get a Snickers. Like, I'm about to, like, yeah. I'm about to, like, get some shit in this gas station. I'm about to turn the... F I'm about to... I might even get, like, a... Like, like the... Like, the most guilty can... I was like, I'm ready for it. I haven't had dessert in, like, three days. Let's go! Walked out with blueberry Pop-Tarts. I was like, fuck. <laughs> Thursday. National Mango Day. Mangoes are like a fruit that's like in everything, but it's nobody eats the real fruit. You know, like flavors are always like mango peach. And I'm like, that sounds really fucking good. But like, I've only had a mango in real life like three times. Mangoes are such like a, they're such like the, the rich girl of fruit. Like, Paris Hilton's definitely a banana. It's like, um, high maintenance. That's hot. Mangoes are, like, the girl in high school that, like, nobody, uh, nobody, like, no, she's, like, mysterious. She has, like, she dates a guy from another school, and you're like, what is it with that girl? <laughs> she, like, doesn't really talk. Does she even like us? Does she even want to go here? There's always some people at your school growing up that, like, they don't give a fuck about anything that's going on in the school. And you're like, wow, bold. They don't play on any teams. They're just, like, there for school, then they're out. Gone. And they have, like, a cool car, and you're like, how did she get that car? That's Mango. <laughs> <laughs> and you never, like, like, she doesn't go to the dances. She doesn't do shit at the high school. You're just like, whatever date some dude named like Kurt from Center Grove you're like what how does she even know him <laughs> she's 
She doesn't say anything. She doesn't give a fuck. It's like she doesn't even go to the school. Like at lunch, she just sits like with her friend that like she transferred in with, and that's it. You're like, whoa. They don't even have social media. You're like, what? That's mango. <laughs> Friday. Gorgeous Grandma Day. I remember this one, dude. I remember this. This is from, dude, Gorgeous Grandma Day. That is so fucking weird. There are some good-looking grandmas, though. We had this goddamn grandma teacher, kind of. I'm not saying she was, like, I'm not being weird, but, like, she looked good. (laughs) That's so weird. I'm not trying to be weird, but, like, she looked fucking good. No, like, for real shit, like, I was like, If that was my grandma, I'd be like, please make me a fucking pie. (laughs) I can't say this without being a creep. You ever see a good looking grandpa, though? And you're like, damn. Like, there's this grandpa in Black Widow, the movie I just saw. And, like, I was like, I'm looking. You ever see a guy? If a guy's ever like, um, this is what I want to look like when I get older and shows you a picture, that means that he has a crush on that guy. Like when I get older, I want to look like Jeff Goldblum. I think he's. I think his. St- I'm like, damn, he looks good. And when I get super old, I want to look like the guy in Black Widow. What the fuck's his name? This guy. I want to look like this guy when I'm really old. Ray Winstone. That's what I want to look like when I'm really old. Ray Winstone. Oh, he's in the Guardian or whatever. I don't know. He's just like, he just looks so fucking, dude, the, the old guy's glasses. I swear to God, you can look like anything when you're old. But if you have the right fucking, gla- like, frames on your glasses, it can make you look so good. It can, I'm like, that guy's so rich. The right frames on your goddamn glasses, man. I can't wait to just wear some stupid fucking frames on my glasses when I'm like 72. <laughs> Oh, shit. Jeff Goldblum and Ray Winstone, both guys, were the fucking thickest, odd frames on their glasses. That's all I really want. I don't give a shit what I look like when I'm older. I just want some, like, some, like, fucking uh, goggles. I just want some rec specs when I'm fucking mowing the grass when I'm older. Man, that guy looks great. Saturday. National Day of the Cowboy. You ever see somebody that actually thinks they're a cowboy? Cowboy hats, though. Like, when, like wearing a cowboy hat sometimes. Like, I had to buy one for, a, like, a promotional ad thing that I did. And I felt so fucking cool wearing that cowboy hat. I'm not going to lie. I was like, damn, dude. What if I just, like, really... What if I just, like, wore this one night? <laughs> and buying that hat was insane. I had, to, I had to buy a cowboy hat for this thing. And I was like, where the fuck do they sell cowboy hats? Like, I went to Meyer and they're like, we don't have any. I was like, why the fuck not? But anyway, there's this place called Boot Barn. I like looked it up on Google. I was like, cowboy hats shopping. You know, and you do that and you're like, let's see what we got. Boot Barn. Went into Boot Barn. There were so many fucking cowboy hats. I don't even know if they sold boots, bro. There was cowboy hats everywhere in that bitch. And all of a sudden, like, I didn't, I went from wanting to pay $15 to a cowboy hat. I looked at the wall of cowboy hats and I was like, I think the max, pro- max I'm going to spend is probably 150 Like that, bro. They had so many, I had no idea cowboy hats were like a thing. Bro, they, like some cowboy hats were like $2,000. I was like, dude, who are you, fucking John Wayne? But I was like, hey, should I go brown? I got like a mid-range one. I was like, Brent, and it had like a print around the top. I was like, I, I turned into like a cowboy hat connoisseur. I was like, I don't like that one because of the brim. It's too flat. A little hard on top. And I was like, brown or black? I tried them both on my head to the boot barn like lady at the cash register. And she goes, she looked at me. This is the most convincing like sale, sale technique I've ever. She looked at me and she goes, hey, definitely brown. And she said it in like a tone that was like, you look so good in that fucking brown hat, baby boy. And I was like, I take, I was like, huh. I like fucking threw the black, I like threw the black hat behind me. 
fucking hit some lady. Hey! I like tipped her. You ever, somebody ever fucking treat you so well, you just want to tip them? You're like, fuck here. Yeah, I've never worn, I actually have no idea where that cowboy hat is. But uh, some people, like, you ever see a guy just, like, with a, like, really thinks he's a cowboy? He's got that big fucking face belt buckle, and he's got, like, old-ass wrinkled skin and, like, just boots and a hat. I'm like, what are you going to do, man? Round up the fucking cattle? You going to have a quick draw outside this Qdoba? Hey! Huh! <laughs> he's like... <laughs> he's like... I hope they remembered my... Guacamole. <laughs> All right. Shout 168. Thanks for listening. Remember to follow, rate, review, subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. Get on Instagram, TikTok, Cameo, Twitter, all at Benedict Polizzi. Hit me up. If you got a question, if you got feedback, if you want to do the espresso question of the week, if you got something in mind, let me know. But okay, thanks for listening, guys. I'll talk to you next week. IFM.